What's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is. It's your buddy Lover Mind. I'm back with another reading. So today's reading, I'm going to be doing um, a story time slash reading, so y'all can relate more to the reading that I'm based on. I mean, that I'm going to be giving y'all the reading. So basically, the sentence of the day, I guess you could say, is be aware of sleeping with the devil. And why this quote really stood out for me is because I feel like I've been to, through this situation my whole life and not actually sleeping with the devil literally, but people that just can have entities attached to them, people that's just, that's just unhealed, like can hurt people, hurt people, like that shit is true, like they do stuff unconsciously, consciously, because of due to deep sea, like it's just a lot that goes with it. So, the story I'm gonna just tell a little story or whatever, like that. So, but I'm um, also saying the story is also how spirit relieved it, I mean, revealed it to me when um, I found out that this was actually the devil. So, boom, let me just fast forward. So, y'all, I'm on my spiritual journey, do 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 do, you know, bad bitch. And I have an ex. I have an ex. Me and this ex, we always on and off. We always going back and forth. We never really just cool. It's always cool and not cool, not talking, bitch, do 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 do. Like, it's just, but when we cool, we cool. Like, we them type of exes or whatever, like that, child. Basically, I'm going to just say he needed some help. We wound up being in the same facility, meaning the same household. And after basically some time, it, he basically, just to let you know, he, he was leaving a, a relationship. So when he came here, he was leaving from a relationship, okay? So, you know, now we're in the same household or whatever like this. But at this point, this is this ex is like family. We've been to school together. We was in, what, middle school, high school together and shit like that. So I know this person for a long time or whatever like that. But it's always been me going through it with this person. So basically, I'm starting to have dreams because I've, I already had a feeling out Every time this person come around, I, them feelings resurface. And I'm like, oh, no, Buki. Like, do 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 do. I had, like, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. And it did. The feelings started resurfacing. And basically, I was like, okay. We was basically, well, I was confused, basically. And I wasn't really expressing it because it was like, I was more so trying to listen to my intuition and see what my ancestors had to say or see what they was going to reveal to me because I really didn't know where I was going until one day I had a dream and I had a dream about him or whatever like that that me and him was fit to get into some conflict that we was going to argue that we was going to fight or something like that and dreams like that is very important that y'all need to pay attention to especially if y'all finna fucking fight but I goes and ask him, y'all, because meanwhile, I've been thinking, because we and him so alike uh, also, we went through the same, went through certain similar struggles and stuff like that. I be thinking this nigga, I mean, I be thinking like he my twin flame or whatever like that. So, I had went up to him or whatever like that. I was like, yeah, so, did you have a dream? Like, this awesome, I'm trying to see if he my twin flame type shit. And he was like, I mean, I said, did you have a dream last night? He was like, yeah, I had a dream or whatever like that. And I said, well, let me know when you have the, well, let me know when you figure out what you have. He was like, but I don't really remember like that. I said, well, just let me know when you remember something. Why would he come to me? He told me, yeah, like I had a dream or whatever like that. It was me and you. And like, we was like, trying to argue or something. And I was like, oh my God. So now I'm gagging because I'm like, bitch, is this bitch like my twin flame? Like, dude, dude, dude. So... I'm so delusional to the point because I'm just, like, trying to figure out. I don't know. Like, I'm just so stressed and overwhelmed. Is that the higher thing? Oh, no. That was the queen of it. <laughs> but I was, like, so stressed and overwhelmed. I'm, like, I just don't know, like, what to do. So, I basically wound up giving this nigga a, a, a love offer because I was, like, if this, 
I'm like, if this is true and you really my twin flame, I feel like we supposed to be building something we can build. We can this and that. Like, I see this vision, all this and that. And he already been kind of tagging along on my spiritual journey slash trying to start his or whatever like that. But saying he already know about it. It's just a lot. Like, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. But he wound up basically he was like, okay, well, yeah, I already know what I'm going to do. Because I basically told him, like, yeah. So, like, yeah, we can be together. We can, like, be a power couple type shit, like, or whatever like that. He like, yeah, yeah. So after we finish the conversation, he goes in the living room and not even, I'm telling you, not even five minutes that passed by. Something was still on my heart. I forget. I had to tell him. I went in the living room real quick. Meanwhile, it's not the fact of, well, well, let me get to it first. I go in the living room and I see him on the phone with a nigga. And then I'm up in there, like, I'm coming in there talking because, you know, I'm like, oh, bitch, and why I, had, why I forgot to tell you, do, 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 like, literally, just like that. And I paused because he was on the phone with a nigga, like, trying to hurry up and mute the phone and shit. Like, he, like, do, do, and I'm like, and he was like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, bitch, I was trying to tell you, bro, do, 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 do. And he was like, oh, my gosh, is you serious? But it was his face that took me back to the past. Of when these this nigga was you know cheating on me and stuff like that. Well, that's basically why we got broken up. So when I seen that on his face, I feel like my ancestors revealed that for a fucking reason. Because then to to show me that that person wasn't for me, and that he don't have the right attention. He was looking to see if the grass was green on the other side. Like, but that was just a little story. That and that's just one situation that really showed me oh okay so you just in it for for the benefit you don't even fuck with me for real because you would not be so quick not even to like you see what i'm saying it's just the principle so boom but let's get straight into this reading now that i just told the little story over here i hope y'all like like when i like i'm gonna try to do like stories with it and then like go get into the reading so it could be more relatable but yeah, so spirit, what do we have for them for today? Oh, okay, we got the lovers. Speaking of a relationship, <laughs> we may have some people coming in into some lovers. Somebody might finna be getting a little relationship or whatever. Y'all little partnership that y'all been looking for, that y'all been waiting on. I might be coming through. Ooh, hold on. Because you tried to definitely flip. And then we got the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, we might have... We, well, the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, we might have some people that's working towards, like, long-term. Like, really trying to do long-term. Like, basically look at stuff long-term. Like, as far as money, financially, mentally, relationships. So, like, maybe y'all, somebody been looking for, like, a long-term relationship. Or y'all have a, a relationship that's coming in that's going to be long-term. Ooh. Hold on. Um, we got the two of wands in reverse. It's a personal goal. Fear of the unknown. Fear of change. Okay, so, yeah. So, we can have some lovers coming in. That could be coming in for long term. It could be possibly a tourist or whatever like that. But spirit is saying, don't be scared of change. Don't be scared of like basically playing and safe. Like still, you could still go into this when you know, but don't run it off. Basically, is what spirit is saying. Like make sure you in alignment make sure you're not in no lack mindsets or anything when this person come in because you've been building building to get to this because we got the seven of pentacles and we got the eight of pentacles so this is you see seven eight and then we got the six um for the lovers so it's literally like six seven eight like this is something that you've been building up to trying to get to this point and spirit is saying like don't be in no lack mindset no don't be lacking of planning don't be playing and slipping when it comes like don't be playing because this is something that you've been working up for, that you've been working towards. Oh, 
Hold on, we got two cards. Yeah, and, and they and Spirit said that this is coming in fast. This is another eight, bitch. Somebody, this might be some money, because eight, you know, money, abundance. And it's an eight year, too. This might be some money. And then we have the um, King of Swords in reverse. It's a quiet power and the truth. Um, lost emotion, emotional loss, manipulation. So, yeah, make sure that you um in control of basically not lying and shit like be honest be authentically yourself when this person come in don't be trying to lie and shit don't be trying to be who you are be who you are because your person is gonna love you for who you are not just these illusions that people be trying to make and you know We got some love. Ooh. Oh, okay. Period. And then we got the chariot. So we got this coming in fast. So y'all need to go ahead. It could be a cancer too, or somebody could be a cancer or a water sound watching too. So yeah, it's coming in fast, Buki. It's coming in fast. It's coming in hot. And the chariot give very much, baby. It's coming in fast to the point, bitch. You walk into front of this car, you just go ahead again, ran over. You go ahead. And then we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. It say, make sure that you're not being overly emotionally or easily influenced or like bitchy. Don't be in this mood because some people might be a little stubborn. Some people might want what they want or be like, you know, real like stuck up and like, oh, I'm a bad bitch type of energy. Like, yeah, you need to do it like this and like that. Be open minded and really see seeing from another perspective like make sure that you being real open-minded to see how everything is coming because this could be a lover that you might miss out on being overly bitchy being in this um being the like girl you know oh oh my god do i want to take all these cards but we got the ten of we got the ten of cups which means you you following what i'm saying once you not being bitchy you not lying and shit you being who you are you was going to get that, that's in the cup. You was going to get that fulfillment that you've been wanting. And then that's going to put you on the queen of pentacles energy. That's an abundant bitch, baby. That's an abundant bitch. Real nourishing. But um, you might have experienced betrayal in the end. Get Make sure that you're, I mean, not in the end, in the past. Make sure that you're releasing all chains and all past trauma with betrayal because this can possibly mess up your new beginnings you see how we got the 10 right there which is for new beginnings so or if you experience betrayal and you feel like that's what could be holding you back from like relationships and loving just like let it go and like let god like honestly know that everything happened for a reason and everything happened for the better for you to learn from experiences so you can not be in these situations no more so don't let the trauma run the show when your when your when your man's come or your woman no shade so spirit can we get one more card for some advice i'm gonna close this reading out she is a bit more of the story yeah we, we got some love coming in spirit can i get one more card for some advice oh shit we got the magician. You was the magician. And this is a one again, which means new beginnings. Everything going to work out in your favor. Whoever this is, you've definitely been working for. We got, we you went from the seven to the eight to the eight, meaning it's coming in fast to the 10. You see how quickly you did that by just really putting in the work. You mastered your craft. So somebody been really putting in the work for change or putting in the work. To make sure that you don't mess up no relationships and you knowing that you putting your good foot forward. And then we got the Empress right here. So you was going to be in the Empress energy, bitch. That's a real abundant ass motherfucker, bitch. Which means you definitely put in the motherfucking work. So congratulate y'all motherfucking selves. Pat y'all on the back because, bitch, I'm congratulating you too because, bitch, I'm happy because this was a good ass layout. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. If y'all like how I read, like, subscribe, comment. I love y'all. And yeah, I'll see y'all next reading.